Speed Duel is a fast-paced alternative format for Yu-Gi-Oh using regular cards and throwing in skills to shake things up, making some unused cards more viable, allowing more anime strategies to come to life. Join us as we progress through each Speed Duel product release and draft each skill available at that time before battling it out in Speed Duel Skill Draft. The GX Midterm Paradox Box was released October 6th, 2022 and contains four pre-built 20 card decks along with 11 additional cards for further customization. Hero World lets you, once per turn, discard one card and activate an effect based on which attribute of normal element or hero monster you control. Heroes Unite Fusion lets you discard one card to fusion summon an elemental hero fusion monster and if two or more of its materials are on the field you can also use monsters in your deck. So this is the deck we're bringing to today's game. This is Hero World. So Hero World is a pretty cool skill. It basically lets us do a different thing based on which different attribute we have out, but it's only normal heroes. And since we're only playing Spark, Van Clay, Man, and Burst Initrix, we can only get the three effects to change monster battle position to pop a monster, as well as R and Clay Man, or to return to hand all special summon monsters that is not fire. So, the basic premise of the deck is that we're going to be summoning out Blazeman. Blazeman's effect is going to grab us Polly. We'll then be able to make some sort of fusion into either Nova Master, Thunder Giant, or Rampart Blaster. Nova Master is going to be our go to because it's very easy to make. Whenever it destroys a monster by battle, we can draw a card. That's pretty good. We should have easy access to it by having Blazeman. Blazeman gets us Polymerization. Polymerization plus anything else in Blazeman is immediately a Nova Master. And we can get to Blazeman either by Rota or one of our three copies of a Hero Lives. So, we should easily be able to summon a 2600 monster and hopefully 26 is big enough that would just kind of win us the game if not we have thunder giant which is not generally going to be as useful because it only destroys cards weaker than it which means it's not going to deal with anything bigger than 26 and ramp up blaster also doesn't really deal with anything over 26 because it has 2500 defense but that's what our trap cards are for the side deck is basically just trying to deal with anything alex might have Night Beam if he's on a back row heavy deck, Lost Wind if he's on special summoning, and Widespread Ruin if he's on just bigger guys that's bigger than 26 that we can't deal with. So this is a deck. Uh, we're feeling pretty okay with this. This should be very consistent. We should easily be able to get out 2600 attackers. It's just, is that 2600 attack going to be enough? Let's fire on in and see what Alex has got for us. So yeah, last week we had... Oh, I, I don't actually, I don't have fond memories of last <laughs> week, just because chilling out back again, I thought it was going to be really fun, it was super degenerate, your deck was trying to summon out Gig Guardian, which would have been sick, of course, again, I think again, it would have just fallen over to like a widespread ruin, but still, summoning Gig Guardian would have been really, really cool, and I'm really disappointed to get to see that, instead, you got to see, um, you know, Koala just punch from defense mode, mm -hmm. so... But enough of that. This is our last week of Midterm Paradox box before we move on to the next box, which is the most modern, you know, the, the current up-to-date Speed Duel product release, which will be fun. But for now, we still have this week to go. We each have one deck left to bring, I suppose. Although, I think we have a couple of different options that could be. I think I had three different skills to choose from for this. Might have only been two. I can't remember. But... How do you feel about your deck? Are you feeling like it's... At the end of the day, this is the fifth deck that you've brought, so my my assumption is it's probably not your best deck, but... Yeah, i got I got no idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Really. I think this deck I'm playing is a lot more, like, standard. It's a lot more do a thing, do it okay, hope not brick, win game, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll see, how, we'll see how this goes. Let's, uh, let's fire on in with some scissors. Ah. Oh. Okay. Holy shit, I want to flip scissors. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if you can do anything with it. Now, is mine a skill that has to be activated at the start? At the start of the duel, flip this card over. Behold, Hero World. So, once mm -hmm. per turn, if I control a Hero Normal Monster or Hero Fusion Monster, I can discard one card to activate one of these skills based on the attributes of that monster. So... Earth, I can destroy an Earth monster you control, one face-up monster my opponent controls. Wind, destroy one face-up spell trap. Fire, return all face-up non-fire special summoned monsters on the field to the hand. Water, draw one card also to the end of the turn. You, you can activate a normal trap card from your hand. Or light, change the battle position of one face-up monster on the field. Okay. So it gets a different effect based on the monster that I have out on the field. You are also on a Jaden skill by the look of things. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> going to normal summon elemental hero Sparkman. I'm going to set back row. I'm just going to pass. Okay. I don't think you can beat 1600. I think it's way too big for you. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, I'll activate a hero loops. Okay. Take half my life. Oh. My own spark man. Ah, I see you too play with the spark man. I will normal summon Clayman. Mm, okay, I think I see where this is going. Activate my skill. Okay. I think you're your main phase. Discard one card, then fusion summon elemental hero fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If summoning an elemental hero monster this way requires three or more materials, you control two or more elemental hero monsters that are mentioned on it as materials. You can also use monsters in the deck as fusion material. So, away goes. Requires three or more. So, are you going to do the three or more? I am. Clayman, Sparkman. Uh. And did you discard to use the effect? Oh, yeah. Useless foolish burial. <laughs> uh, let's see. Avian and... Thurston. Oh, Trunks. is this Electrum? We will go... Yeah. Electrum! Okay. Um, <laughs> right, I need to spend a minute reading this card. So, must be fusion summoned, cannot be summoned any other way. While... Face up on the field, this card is also Wind, Water, Fire, and Earth attribute. When this card is Fusion Summoned, shuffle all banished cards into the deck, so this card gives 3 attack each monster your opponent controls that shares an attribute with this card. So, right now it's 32. Mm -hmm. So the question becomes, can I out this if I don't use my back? Behold. Bloodgate Trapper. <laughs> well, it's fine. Now the main issue is, this thing still has 2600 defense. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, mm. <laughs> Still not uh, exactly free to get rid of it. Stand by main. So if I use Hero World, I can destroy a face up card. So I'd have to attack it, take a bit of damage to get it face up. Mm, and your guy also counts as fire. So if I use the <laughs> fire version of this, it still doesn't work because it's non fire and it is fire. Doesn't do anything. Alright, we're going to normal summon Elemental Hero Blaze Man. So, if this card is normal summoned or special summoned, I can add polymerization from my deck to my hand. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. And... Then... I guess we're just going to drop the poly. Mm -hmm. I'll fuse my two monsters together. And summon... The mighty Elemental Hero Nova Master, who unfortunately does not have enough attack to actually beat your guy. So, I think I will just go to battle and attack into it. Okay. That's why it's face up, so if I do draw an earth hero, I can destroy it. And then I will end my turn. I think this might become, can you get out another Electrum before I draw an earth monster? And whoever does that first wins. <laughs> just gonna have to end. Rough turn. Stand by main in here, so I think I also have to pass the turn. The unstoppable immovable object that has fallen <laughs> in a hole is uh, what's going to dictate in this game at the moment. I'm going to set a back row and pass the turn. Okay. Draw off the turn. Stand by main. I think we just pass. Set a back row. Okay. And draw. And my main end phase pass. Draw. And my main. Uh this doesn't do any. So I will pass the turn. Ooh, that I can use. Reinforcement Ooh. of the army. Right, let's get you closer to what you need. Sparkman. Okay. And activate polymerization. Uh -oh. Yep. Sending Sparkman and Goddess. Oh, okay. To make Plasma Vice. Okay, so must be fusion summoned. 
If this card attacks defense this much piercing damage, you can discard one card, attack one tap of punishment because destroy the target. So now the question becomes: Do I do anything on summon? I will attempt the Book of Moon. Ooh. Yep. Oh. And off turn. Where is my uh, Where is my claimant? Where is it? <laughs> we will set a back row. Mm -hmm. Set another back row. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna get a battle phase. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try and attack this. Uh, yeah. So, beat twenty three hundred. That goes to grave. I activate hero signal. Okay. Yeah, I've got just stuff to get my own. You just rub it in my face, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm gonna in. <gasps> All right, now I'm gonna draw a card for my effect. It's still not claimer. There are still two in this deck. Seven cards left. Um, I go to end phase and pass it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to activate <gasps> Hero City. Okay, so you can bring back an elemental hero monster in your graveyard that was destroyed by battle. Uh, you know who was destroyed is, by battle? Does he have the line in it? Must be fusion summoned, which means you cannot special summon him. Uh, none of the others were destroyed by battle either, were they? Oh, brain. What? Pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, the elemental hero fusions, I think almost all of them have that line on them, and it's just, like, for no reason. It's just to be fucking problematic. It's like my one is the same on my Nova Master. Probably side that out, man. It's, it's, um, it's good mm. to get the materials back, right? Like, if you're using bits of fusions. It's like, if your clay man dies, you can bring that back and then use it for a fusion later. Yeah, true. So, like, it's not a bad card. It's just... Uh, bah, bah, bah. It's not busted, I guess. Okay, so we'll set... And end. All right, all right. Clayman's going to be the top card of my deck. You ready? You ready? Uh, it's not Clayman. But it does get me Clayman. Ooh. All right. So we'll view the deck. I will take Clayman to my hand. Mm -hmm. Put this in the grave. Now, you have a back row. I don't I do. think I can play around the back row. So I'm going to normal summon elemental hero Clayman. Mm -hmm. Anything in response to this? Nope. Okay, so I can discard one card to activate one of these skills based on the attribute of the monster. So I will discard a hero lives. And then, because I have an earth monster, I can destroy one earth monster I control and one face-up monster my opponent controls. So goodbye, Clayman. Yep. And then we're going to target your Electro. But what I can do is activate fusion. Oh. So, Elemental Hero and a Fire Monster. So I will send Blaze Man and let's get rid of Burst in the Bricks. And then summon a second Overmaster. Anything else to the summon? Nope. We'll go battle. We will attempt to attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wall of destruction. So I will lose 16 on both of these, but yep. that's 1,000 attack each, which means I will lose 1,000 life points. And then I'll put a counter on them just to remind that they're both on 1,000 attack. Permanent. Uh, hmm. That's uh, a bit of a thorn in my side. I will end the turn there. I figured I had game. I had to try for it. Yeah, totally. Um... Ah. <laughs> oh, hey, we'll draw turn. Stand by main. Alright, well let's normal summon Clayman. <laughs> I can activate the effect of Hero World, so I'll discard. I should be not doing anything on the summon. No. Oh, not activating that, we'll put that in the graveyard. And then I destroy my Clayman to try and destroy your Clayman. Yep. Battle! Go! A thousand! Of disruption. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> okay, so both of these are now on zero attack. Uh, mm -hmm. I end the turn. Right, I had game again. I had to try for it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I do have a target for 
the hero lives. Okay, spend half the life. Mm, yes, you. Ooh, Wild heart. He's a good one as well, unaffected by traps. So as long as my face down is a book of moon. I will use my normal summon to get a blaze man. Okay. Search for a folly, assuming you have one left. I don't. Okay. So I won't bother opening my library. You can use his effect to pitch a hero monster to gain attack. Or to make his attack whatever the other guy is. Spend to grave blade edge. So my you have got the big daddy. 26? Yeah, he's 26 now. I'll go battle. And attack. Alright, well I have to use this to not die. So you'll go down to a thousand here. This will die. I'll lose a thousand life points. And then attack with 15. He will die. I'll lose 15. Mm. Alright, rough turn. Stand by me. Alright, now I need to look up a ruling quick. Because <laughs> 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 what is Blaze Man's current attack now? <laughs> Okay, so the attack will return to its original value, but it will still have the negative applied on it from Wall of Disruption. Okay. But that means it will go back to 12, and then it will lose the 16 and go down to a zero attack monster. Alrighty. Okay. And now, I'm going to pretend that Sphere Karuba doesn't exist. And I'm going to attack. <laughs> Oh, yep. man. Look at that, that ruling was more intensive than the rest of this game, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, uh, game two. Go second again. Okay. Mm. Oh, mm. dear. Right, well, start the game. Flip over Hero World. Stand by main. I will normal summon Blaze Man. Mm -hmm. Using Blaze Man's effect, I will add Polly to hand. I will set it back row, and I will just pass on that. Okay. Sure. I'm going to activate a Hero Lives. Okay. Half my life point. Wild Heart. Okay. I'm gonna activate Righteous Justice. Yep. Oh, you feel bad. Blood Geek's Trap Hole. Keep the wheels spinning. Let's go. Please, man. Okay. Grab a Polly. Uh. Let's, well, use the poly. Okay. Make. That's no my one. Can't copy me. That a back row. That was all in the main phase, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go about lunch tag. Yes, yeah, so I'll lose 14 and you'll get a draw. Draw. And. And. Alright, draw. Stand by main. Let's start with a hero lives. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead, pay my 13. Then from my deck, I will be summoning... Who is going to be the summon of the day? I think we're going to go for it. We'll summon... Clayman. Mm -hmm. I'm going to activate hero world. I'm going to discard. Okay. Polymerization. I'm going to blow up both of our cards. Yeah. Then, I'm going to summon Blazeman. Mm -hmm. We'll grab Polymerization. We'll activate Polymerization. Using the Burst in the Tricks and... Blazeman. To create... The Mighty Nova Master. Hey, that's my one. <laughs> oh, it's mine. You copied me. Battle phase. A 
attack into your what's this gonna be wall? Yep, so I lose 800 attack and you lose 1800 life points. Oh, then I end my turn. I need a good draw here. Oh, that's not terrible. Activate fusion recovery. Oh, okay. Gonna grab Polly. Grab Blazeman. Okay. Blazeman. Mm hmm. Activate the Polly, send in Blazeman. Void Edge. Make my second Nova Master. Okay. Can't stop copying anything. Thing. And I will attack! Okay, so I'll lose 800 life points and you'll get a draw. Draw. Hmm. Need a pretty good draw to get out of this, I think. Well, ironically, it's the one that would have helped the most, but um, I need a card to discard, so... We're going second. Hey, I saw. Okay. Good main. Put in monster. Okay. Well done. Draw off the turn. Stand by main. Flip over our hero world. Mm. How do we want to do this? I guess I will just drop down fusion. Okay. We will fuse. Un. Not banish. <laughs> One, two. Summon out the boy. Ooh. We'll set back up, go to battle, and we will attack into your clayman. Okay. And we will pass the turn. Going to activate Pyro City. Yep. And special summon clayman. <laughs> yep. Normal summon. Spark man. Hmm. I will activate Book of Moon and target your Spark man. Actually, I'll target your Clayman. Okay. And. Right, draw. Stand by me. Ah, the problem now is I kill one of these and then you can just do the same thing again next turn. Let's grab the two. Mm, I could pop one, attack the other, but then if you just have any element of hero in hand, you get to do it anyway. Alright, we'll just go to battle phase here. We will just attack into your spot then. Get some 800 damage in. Okay. 800. Then we'll pass on that. Uh. I'll activate Hero City. Yep. And special summon Spark Man. Mm hmm. Flip over. Oh, I'll switch and flip some. Clay Man. Yep. Um, we'll activate. Yep, so discard this a card. Card. Let's discard Polly. Clayman, Sparkman, Avian, a burst and tricks. Summon Electrum. Okay, so he gains some attack against 300, so he's currently at 32. Uh, normal summon, so I'll normal summon Wild Heart. Mm hmm. Go to battle. Yeah, it goes. And attack directly. 15. Yeah, everybody take it. Hmm. Have you? Mm hmm. Oh, my screen says you're still on 17. I am still on 17. <laughs> That's what my life should be at. Oh, I see. You've added the two tools you would have taken together. All right. All right. Draw for turn. Oh, that's such a bad draw. Oh. Well, I'm not currently dead, so I'll normal summon Clayman, use the effect of Hero World, pitch, and pop. 
your Electrum. Okay. And then pass to you. So if you've got a normal summon, you've got this. Because fortunately none of your uh, heroes will just drop a battle. I will activate... I think I can activate this. Fifth Hope? Target five other hero cards in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, then draw two cards. Yeah, you can activate that. You can choose a... Electrum goes to... Yeah, he yeah, goes yeah. to the extra deck there, doesn't he? Not the deck. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, okay. You can draw two cards, because yeah. you have cards on your yeah. field in hand. Yeah. Draw four, because I put them to the top. Uh, and then, yeah, draw two. On. Two. That goes to Grave. Yeah, I've got nothing. Second Wild Heart. Woo! Yeah, oh man, that felt pretty grim. I um, So what I sided in for both those games two and three was, you know, a bunch of trap cards oh. that we just never drew <laughs> in games two or three. So I was like, well, I guess if I just draw nothing that I side in, I guess I will mm. just lose. <laughs> I was like, well, if I get Lost Wind into rotation, I think I just win the game. Um, just being able to say your big guys are no longer big. I don't think your deck really does anything after that. But again, I just I didn't draw any. I just kept drawing naff crap. So even going first, I was like, oh, well, if I draw a hero lives, or I'm able to get out Nova Master on turn one and get, get a draw off it, that's so much value. But even the only game where I went second, <laughs> I, I could only make fucking Thunder Giant. <laughs> mm. Which is just so unlucky. Oh, man. Yeah, it's it was it was a good game though. We got to see two um two hero games, uh, two hero decks, which was pretty fun. Yeah, it's a it's a Your shame. Skill that, like, quite cool. Yeah, th it's a really bad skill, realistically. Having to discard a card each time and for quite mediocre effects, because it's like at one point I could have used the light effect to change one of monsters' defense, but I was like, if your back row is anything, I get punished, and then your back row was, um, wall of disruption. So. I made the right call in not doing that. Mm. And I think that's just how uh, this skill ends up. It doesn't help as well that probably one of the best skills on this is return all face-up non, uh, all face-up non-fire special summon monsters to the hand. And you're basically summoning exclusively fire monsters uh, from the <laughs> yeah. fucking extra deck. So I'm just that like, well, I've been inadvertently hot, soft countered here, which kind of sucks. But again, yeah, I think, I think if we played this game, you know, another played another best of three of this. I think if I see Lost Wind, I'd probably just win. But again, if I don't if I don't draw it, I can't, can't do anything about it. Um, it was cool seeing Electrum, though. He actually got to hit the board and do stuff. Mm. Obviously, in, a, in that game one, he kind of didn't get to do much. Ironically, as well, game one, I had two trap cards in my deck, and I saw both of them. <laughs> and then it's game, you be, though, isn't it? <laughs> game, games two and three, I've got five, and I can't find any of them. It's like, ah... But yeah, that's um, like I said, that's just how Yu-Gi-Oh goes. But that does mean next week we will have access to the new box set, which should be quite fun. We we'll get to play with the villains of GX and all of their cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, GG, buddy. GG.